Welcome to episode two of Heart of the Huntress. In the last episode, the hunters arrived in Namibia and were treated to the luxuries of Ochery Wildlife Safaris. We saw guest huntress Kelly take her first trip. In this episode, Donna Partridge goes in search of her first enemy. Just be And I got the heart I got the heart of a hundred And I, I Like the wind on my back The sun on my face This heart's beating It's beating Cause I love the chase Just me Nature's fair and it's free This heart's beating, it's beating Cause I love the chase And I've got the heart of a hundred Well, we just walked for nearly two hours, I guess. It's very hot and dry. I need to drink bad. Um, we seen a lot of animals all in one big group. A big, big herd of red hartebeest, but um, there was only one small male in the herd. Lots of oryx, some um, blue wildebeest. But yeah, it's so thick, so we were unable to get close enough to take any shots. So um, yeah, we're just gonna getting close to lunchtime now so we're gonna head back to the lodge and recharge and see what happens after that after lunch so you're lucky your boots are made for walking <coughs> hey boots are made from walk made for walking from um, our great sponsor Wildebeest um, yeah without them and their support this wouldn't happen so we really do appreciate it and um, they're amazing comfortable boots that I recommend you all to try after a morning of hard walking Donna returned to the lodge for lunch and after a short rest went back out into the field for an afternoon hunt. So yesterday after lunch we went out and um, we'd only been gone about half an hour and we'd come across some um, zebra we spotted from the truck. So we jumped off and stalked in to them. Uh, I think it was about 100 metres, 150 metres. She saw a small group of zebra with a nice stallion behind a bush. There was a big male and then two smaller ones, but they were behind a thick bush, so we weren't able to get a clear shot, so it was the waiting game in place. The wait is agonising. The slightest movement, noise or change in the wind direction and Donna's hard work would be in vain. She has no choice but to wait until the time is right. Donna is a very patient hunter and soon her persistence pays off and her opportunity presents itself. So we set up the sticks behind some bush and just waited patiently and then eventually the two younger ones walked away and the male walked out and stopped perfect for me to take the um, perfect shot. And yeah, he ran 50 metres and went down. So it all ended well. It was a good first day's hunt. He's run but we've heard him go down so let's go find him. The shot is a perfect one. Donna is overcome with emotion as she admires her zebra. (laughs) 
and the team could not be happier for her as they assist in setting up the trophy for photos. <laughs> Happy Jews. <laughs> Um, the Peregrine ammunition, which worked great with my 375. So, yeah, it all ended well. With all our sponsors, the wildebeest um, clothing, their boots, hats, um, they decked us out. The hunting outfitters shirts, um, we thank all of them. Sunglasses, it's very hot and um, dry here, so it's nice to have some nice shirts that are cool and ventilated to let the air through. So, um, yeah, it all works out very well. So we appreciate it. Thank you very much. And a special thanks to Hot Jerry Wildlife Safaris, um, giving us the opportunity to hunt these beautiful animals. This is my first zebra, so I yeah, appreciate it very much. There is a small amount of daylight left for Margaret to take the rifle. So keep watch for episode 3 to see what Ochiri has in store for the South African hunter.